What is up, ladies and gents? It's Jeff with iDownload Blog. Of course, I have a new Nexus 7 in my possession. And like we always do, I'm going to compare this thing to the iPad mini. Now, the new Nexus 7 is a pretty significant upgrade over its predecessor. And uh, you're going to like this if you if you like the old Nexus. The iPad mini, of course, you all know that by now. So we're going to compare these things head to head and kind of show you exactly what to expect from both devices. Now, both devices, as you, as you can see, are the exact same size as far as height is con concerned. 7.9 inches tall for each device, exactly. Uh, so as far as height's concerned, they're exactly the same. Now, when it comes to width, you can see there is a significant difference here. Uh, the new Nexus is 4.5 inches wide and the iPad mini is 5.3 inches wide and that gives a lot more screen real estate uh, to the iPad mini as opposed to the Nexus 7. Uh, so if you if screen size is your like primary concern then it really is no contest. The uh, Nexus 7 is far dwarfed by the iPad mini screen size. Now thickness the Nexus 7 is thicker than the iPad mini. The iPad mini still reigns supreme as far as thinness is concerned. Not a huge difference, 0.28 inches for the iPad mini in thickness, 0.341 inches for the Nexus 7. So you're not gonna have a huge difference there. But when you start talking about devices of this size, every little bit counts, and you definitely notice the difference as far as thickness is concerned with the iPad mini. Now, what about resolution? That is arguably the most important statistic when it comes to a tablet where the screen encompasses almost the entire front face of the device. You're gonna notice on the new Nexus, it has a 1920 by 1200 pixel display. That is 323 pixels per inch. That is a lot of pixels packed in a very small space. So you're gonna have a retina quality display with the new Nexus. Of course, the iPad mini, yeah, that's not Retina at all with a 1024 by 768, 163 pixels per inch with the iPad mini. So it's a significant step down uh, from the Nexus 7 to the iPad mini. And notice that Geekbench score. Folks, it speaks for itself. A Geekbench score of 2,684 runs circles around the iPad mini. There's just no other way to state that. It runs circles around it. This thing screams the Nexus 7 is a very, very fast, runs games very, very fast. Certainly faster than 766. The lowly 766, yeah, that's pretty sad when compared to 2,684. I mean, as much as I would like to sugarcoat this in the iPad mini's favor, yeah, it's getting a bit long in the tooth. So I'd say a refresh is definitely at the top of Apple's priority list. Whether or not the next iPad mini will get a retina display, who knows, but I think they definitely need one because look at this. You can see all the pixels there on the iPad mini and it's readily apparent, readily noticeable when you compare it to the Nexus 7's dis display. You don't see all those pixels because it has a retina caliber display, lots of pixels per inch right there. You see the difference there? You can't barely make out any pixels and this is a macro uh, lens that I'm using so you really get up and zoom in on the device to get a good look at those pixels and you can barely make them out on the Nexus 7. See that? But on the iPad mini, yeah, you see plenty of pixels. Now granted the iPad mini is a much older device uh, Google has had plenty of time. They had the first iteration of the Nexus 7. This is only Apple's first stab at a smaller tablet, and they did a very good job. In fact, the iPad mini is still my favorite just because of the Apple ecosystem, but there's no denying that the Nexus 7 came out with gloves on. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.